What's up everyone, Jason A. Strange 69 back once again with another diecast review. Tonight, we'll be taking a look at the Auto World 124 scale 2019 John Force Peak Chevy Camaro NHRA Funny Car. Before I get to going any further into this review, I want to thank GroundPounding.com for sending me this awesome diecast. I was able to find it on their website for a lot less than what most dealers are selling their for. So if you'd like to order this car for your collection, link will be in the description box below. So let's move on with the first item it comes with is the certificate of authenticity that matches the color scheme of the car and packaging. You can pause the video if you'd like to read that. Nothing on the back of it, it's just blank. It does come with the body prop as it should, which is die cast metal, which Auto World's good at. So yeah, zoom out here, take a closer look at the packaging now. It's a really nice box. Simple packaging, really nothing too flashy, but it does feature the NHRA Championship Drag Racing Series logo, John Force 2019 Peak Chevy Camaro NHRA Funny Car, and of course we got the John Force Next Generation X logo there, and Adult Collectible Ages 14 and Up. Side of the box features the same NHRA branding, Got Peak Coolant and Motor Oil, John Force Racing, and John Force 2019 Peak Chevy Camaro NHRA Funny Car, and 124 scale. End of the box here features the Peak logo, and of course John Force 2019 Peak Chevy Camaro NHRA Funny Car. This side is the same as the other side, and guess what? This end is the same as the other end. Of course, bottom of the box features licensing, and of course there's all the information for groundpounding.com, so be sure to visit groundpounding.com or you can call their uh, phone number there. Like I said, they sell their NHRA, the new releases of Auto World uh, NHRA for 2019. They sell them for a lot less than what you will find on other dealer websites. So, yeah, that was the packaging and, of course, the certificate. And now let's take a closer look at the car because it is a beautiful piece of die cast. So we'll start off here on the hood. We have Blue Death, Peak Coolant and Motor Oil, and the Chevy Bowtie. Got the Chevrolet Bowtie in the center of the headlights there, with the AAA logo on either side of AAA.com. Of course, we have Advanced Auto Parts right there, with Camaro featured nicely on top of the windshield there. Contingencies on the side here, we have the AAA logo, Advanced Auto Parts, Montana brand, and Blue Death. Of course, we do have Chevrolet Bowtie above the front wheels, Auto Club, AAA, PPG, of course, Peak Coolant and Motor Oil, along with Denzel Goodyear, Freightliner, Parker Store, and Baldwin Filters. Of course, there's the John Force Next Generation logo once again with Chevrolet, Pit Boss, Corno Quality Tools, Herco, Weld, Clevite, Molly, Auto World Diecast, Mainsgate, Simpson, EasyGo, MSD, ARP, Mastercam, Fuel Oil Contingencies. We have NHRA and a few other logos on the side of the wing. Here on the side of the window, we have more contingencies along with Montana brand and Blue Death. Of course, John Force number nine, Eric Medellin tribute sticker. And of course, the escape hatch, which functions has the American flag on top. Opens up nicely. Shuts nicely as well. Now, these fasteners on the windshield are not painted details, they are actual raised parts as you can see that is something lionel racing was never able to do it's really nice i don't know how well you can hear that but those are on all windshields sides you can see really nicely there that they actually protrude from the actual windshield so yeah john force on the name row there chevrolet here on the rear window you got all the wing bracing on the side and the insides there for contingencies on the inside of the wing if it will focus we got Jessel, safety clean sunoco manly lincoln waters strange racewear few little contingencies that are the same on the other side moving along to the rear of the car we do have triple eight and blue def there on the inside of the rear wing Got more bracing on the rear. There's your parachute detail. The little uh, tail light, Camaro tail lights here actually function and will uh, move up. As you can see right there. They are in hinges, both of them do that. 
Got the little cables to the parachutes that just unplug there. Right side of the car is the same as the right side, no major differences. No quality control problems, but you would expect that from a company like Auto World. You got OWI there on the uh, throttle plates. Go ahead and remove the body from the chassis. We'll take a closer look at the inside of the body. On the Lionel die cast, the, all the body braces and stuff would be uh, very fragile plastic. All these braces, as you can see, are screwed on and they're all die cast metal. The only plastic on the inside is for the interior, which was standard on even Lionel. So yeah, that is the body of the car. Set that aside now. Take a closer look at the chassis, which is in standard auto world high detail. We've got fire extinguishers on either side of the fuel cell right there. You got the box with all the uh, electronics in it to set up the car. Really nice brake line and steering detail right there on either side. Of course, functioning throttle plates or butterflies. MSG uh, distributors right there. All the little lines and everything plumbed and wired. Back of the engine is very nicely detailed. Got real fabric straps here for the uh, diaper to contain all the parts on the car. Does have working steering, sort of. Got really nice detail here on the inside of the driver's compartment with photo etched belt buckle or seat belt and everything. Uh, cam mock, of course, you can see down in there, they're all actual photo etched metal, all connected to the uh, cam mock device. See the drive shaft in there and all that. That's really nice detail. The actual row hoop here of the die of the chassis, I believe, is a very strong, durable plastic. Could be a die cast piece, but I don't think it is. Back here, more detail going all the way down to the die cast uh, wheelie bar with a uh, actual little functioning wheel. Here's where the uh, body of the car would hook onto the chassis. This is serial number 160. Of course, here's all your trademark. This is using an RC2 uh, tooling. So yeah, really nice detail. Now I'll connect the body back to the chassis by dismounting those clips back here. And now, of course, we have the body prop. And there you go. Really nice. Auto Road outdid themselves on this John Force car for 2019. Can't wait to get any future Auto World John Force funny cars in 124 scale. So if you enjoyed this review, get a thumbs up. If this diecast is still available from groundpounder.com, there will be a link to their to this uh, diecast below. If not, still check out groundpounder.com. They have great selection of vintage diecast, current diecast of NHRA. They even sell NASCAR diecast, but their primary uh, selling point is their NHRA collectibles. So be sure to visit groundpounder.com. So thanks for watching. I post new diecast reviews at least three days a week, so be sure to subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and you can find me absolutely everywhere at JasonAStrain69 on social media. So thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone, and see you next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.